Delaying mortgage payments with job losses soaring above 30 million due to coronavirus, more borrowers are taking advantage of the government's bailout program, putting off mortgage payments for months at a time. Many now fearing what will happen after that grace period if they'll end up owning a, owing a sizable lump sum in back payments. Joining me right now is Rogers Healy, an associate's real estate owner. Rogers Healy. And Rogers, it's great to have you. What advice do you have for somebody out there who can't make the mortgage right now? Yeah, see if you can, you know, maybe renegotiate your mortgage, but do your research. A lot of people maybe can't qualify based on who their current mortgager is, but yeah, it's going to be a really interesting time. And I think it's going to be difficult to go and delay your mortgage payment one month, two months, even six months, and then all of a sudden have it all owed at once. So yeah, do your research and see if there's other options for you to maybe make it still work. Well, some lawmakers are calling for allowing struggling uh, homeowners to move the payments to the back of the loan instead of a lump sum after the forbearance period. Do right. you see that gaining traction? I think so. I think that, you know, people are going to really work with whatever they can to make something work. And, and if, to be able to wrap it to the end of the loan is a way more realistic option for, for people that need to delay it in the first place. But, yeah, I think that right now everybody's going to really work together to try to find a light at the end of the tunnel. And the good news is all the stuff we're dealing with right now is not real estate's fault. So the people that qualified in the first place really were more, you know, better vetted than it was, you know, eight, nine years ago. So I, I do hope a wrap is going to be a way better option uh, and maybe more realistic than a balloon payment. John Hazenroth. Uh, Rogers, there's been a lot of talk in the markets about the, the role of the Federal Housing Finance Agency, the regulator of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and its leader, Mark Calabria. Uh, what role do you see them playing here? And um, is this the kind of problem that the market can sort out for itself, or does it need Fannie and Freddie and the FHFA to arrange some kind of bailout? I think we're going to see a really creative solution all around. And like Maria said a few a few seconds ago, I mean, we have so many people unemployed that even if a fraction of them were homeowners and a fraction of those had a mortgage, you know, we're going to have to see something to where we don't have the same foreclosure and even short sale crisis that we did in the early 2010. So, yeah, I do think there's going to be maybe some sort of creative bailout, not to the extent we saw during the Obama administration. But, yeah, there's going to have to be something that's going to protect these people in the long run. Lee Carter. Yeah, one of the things that I, in addition to, to people not being able to pay their mortgages, I'm curious what you see as far as trends. Do you think that people are going to be making moves now? Do you think we're going to see more people moving to the suburbs, um, leaving urban areas? And what do, you, what, what do you see with the markets? Yeah, so we've seen over the last couple of years a, a shift from stuff. You know, there, there's a term called hipsterby that we started talking about a couple of years ago, where people that couldn't afford to live in New York moved to Charlotte, people that couldn't afford to live in Denver moved to Boise, Idaho. So, I mean, the whole thing revolved around pricing and affordability. But I do think people are going to really go towards being home more. And obviously, you know, here we are month two, month two uh, of working from home that people are just going to get used to it. So I think we're going to see stuff that faded out with trends. You asked about trends. So home gyms, home offices, larger living spaces. And I think we're going to see people want actually closed off spaces, too, because, again, you spend 60 days with anybody in an open room, you're probably going to long for some solitude. So, yeah, we're going to see some trends, yeah. I think, in the next couple yeah. of months that are going to pop up out of nowhere. Yeah, you make a lot of good points. I think you're right. We'll see some retrofitting here, people changing changing their accommodations to uh, to, to accommodate uh, a different a different desire. Great to see you, Rogers. Thanks very much. Rogers Thanks. Healy joining us there.